Mm, hey there, Twisted Sage here. Um, quick note. So the way that my the tip of my nose is kind of square, that's a an Aquarius indication. All right, I wanted to come in and touch on weather. Obviously, places of four season experience, you know, all of it. Uh, so I don't know. I'm speaking from my local environment of the White Mountains of Arizona, which generally sits at 6,005 to 6 to 7. If you get up higher in the mountains, like where I work, Sunrise, you're looking at 9. Um, but... Uh, for my locals here, you can notice today was a little bit warmer than yesterday. And really the only big difference, planetarily speaking, was that the moon moved into a fire sign. So, but everything in our local sky from the sun, Mercury, Mars, Venus, Mars, Jupiter... Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto are all in what is commonly known to rule the winter signs. And we just had, so we actually had a, a little bit of a, a warmer December, warmer January, and Mars was holding a fire sign No, Fire signs will always be in greater warmth. So when you pay attention to the moon being in Aries, Leo, and Sag during the winter, it's still good, probably going to be warmer days. Those also might be peak heat days in the summer. But, uh, but yeah, since Mars moved into Capricorn to join Venus and Mercury and Pluto, um, that's the core. I, I see though Capricorn as a colder energy than Aquarius. Um, because it's the beginning of the, the the least amount of sun shining down upon us in the northern hemisphere. Um, you know, it'd be interesting to go live in Australia and see the difference or something. But uh, I'm just relaying what noticing what I notice, and my Aquarian Mercury and Sun are both in the sixth house, illuminating details. And Aquarius is the center energy of awareness, hyper awareness. Uh, yeah, I, I, I suspect, I, I think it's March 2nd, I said, but who knows, maybe even, ah, no. That's America. I have a reference on the 20th of February, a day to note, will be America's Pluto return. But that's probably going to deal with more finances than physical. But I don't know. It's still second house for the United States. So maybe, maybe a big winter storm. Uh, but when, on March 2nd, when both Mars and Venus can join Pluto maybe we got some more volcanic action taking place and also while the moon was in Scorpio the other day we experienced moisture uh, and then if you go back to the big storm we got during New Year's Eve that was when Jupiter went into Pisces. So the moon in water signs is more likely to have a heavier moisture. Even per, I'm, I'm guessing even perhaps, even if there's no moisture falling out of the sky, that there's a greater humidity in the air. All right, Twisted Sage out. Um, Stardead out.